All right, guys, welcome to another video. There we go. All right, so this one's going to go out to a special crazy friend of mine. All right. Now, as we know, we all have businesses to run. And as we know, there's always a reputation to be upkept. And as we know, there's always, uh, you know, kind of what you give is what you get scenario, kind of, sort of. Um, and also, as if you're working for somebody, you know, say even even if it's your friend, you know. And, uh, you know, this is why I don't take anybody to work with me. My work is not that hard, but, you know, I... I don't go too crazy, you know. I am at my own pace. I don't overreact. You know, there are people in this world that are running businesses and stuff. And uh, they they really, they really, they overreact a lot. They literally, they overreact. And the problem with that is, is that um, when they overreact, uh, a big problem hits. Because when they overreact, it's like... Everything is out to get you. No matter what it is, they're out to get you for the smallest, littlest thing. You know, for the smallest, littlest thing. They're out to get you no matter what. So, a friend of mine owns a washing business. And we go out and we wash stuff. And, um, you know, I obviously I'm not going to wear clean clothes to work because I've gotten dirty before. Uh, these shorts are in bleach. You can see that. It's bleach. $120 shorts uh, in bleach. Um, now, for me, personally, I don't care what I look like. It's what I feel like. So if I feel comfortable in what I am wearing, then that's what it is. I feel comfortable how I am, you know? But then again, you know, some people may may think about it a different way. What the problem is, is they don't notice that the same thing that I'm doing is the same thing that they've been doing is in terms of, let's say, uh, getting into the car dirty. Um, like, why would you want to get into the car dirty? Um, I understand if it was fresh dirt, you know, uh, and, and that would be that would stain up everything that would be really bad. But say if it's dry dirt, then it's not gonna hurt you in any way. It's not. It's just dry dirt. It just brushes right off. So there's nothing wrong with dry dirt. So I usually wear like a hoodie with dry, you know. And yesterday, you know, me and this friend I actually went out to have a little bit of fun. And you know, I came back yesterday like this. This is this is all dry. This is mud. Okay. Um, so he got really, really mad at me that I sat in tension. Uh, what can I, baby? Oh, looks like we got another radio working. <laughs> we still got to have a radio working. So anyways, he got really upset that I got into it. Now, the only reason why I wore it is because the inside is still clean, but the outside is a little messy. Now, I completely understand... But I was very careful in doing what I was doing. But the problem was, is that this guy likes to get overreacted. And he'll talk to you, know, and do a, you and he'll do like that sometimes. And I'm like, yo, chill out. You know, I'm an EMT, okay? And we are to remain, to remain calm under any condition. So I don't care if there's a gun pointed at me. I'm going to remain calm. I don't know if... I, hopefully there will be a gun to point to my head. But at this point, I would remain calm. But this friend will go... And he'll just like scream with his teeth closed and everything. Like, you know? And he'll, he'll make it like he's like really, really mad and stuff. And and he'll say like the stupidest things that you would possibly never even want to say. I mean, he apologizes afterwards. But I'm like, bro, you know, verbal abuse is verbal abuse, you know? And, um, 
Real bit abuse is not good, and I, I, I don't appreciate it. I don't care if you're the boss. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you're the CEO of the company that, you know, whatever. I don't care. Verbal abuse is verbal abuse. When you do verbal abuse, it's verbal abuse. Today, he got to a point where he wanted to punch me out. I'm like, bro, like, relax. Like, it's, you know... We got it in. You know, we did what we had to do. We parked the truck properly. Well, I did like 90% of the work, and then he did the other 10% of the work. Um, he didn't quite listen to me. Um, he never listens to me. But you know what? At the end of the day, he winds up doing the same thing I already told him to do. So it's like at 1 o'clock, it's like, okay, we got to get this done. We got to get this done. And at 2 o'clock, we're like... We gotta get this done. We get. I was like, but at one oh two, I told you exactly how to do it. Why is it at two o'clock? We still have not done it. So at like two fifteen, he's like, "All right, let's do this." I'm like, "Well, that's the same exact thing that I just told you to do an hour ago. That you didn't listen to me to do it. You know what I mean?" And, you know, we're very cautious. Uh, he's very cautious because you know anything can happen. You know. Um, you know, with with with, with cleaning equipment, um, you know, it's it's a mobile it's mobile cleaning equipment, so it's a little bit different. So there's a hole sticking out. You know, we don't want to anyone to trip on it. We want to cone it off. We want to make it proper. We want to make it as safe as possible. At the same time, we also want to respect each other while we're doing that, which uh, he does not. You know, he's a cool guy. I know him for many, many years, but you know what? It's just, you know, recently in the later years, like when he started this business, I just started to see the real him, you know, and um, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Like, you know, look, I understand there's some, but, you know, say calmly, because when you say it like that, it, it's just, it's just crazy on top of that. He tried to pull me out of the van, so he opens the door while I'm still moving. Like he's really, really mad that I sat into the into the van with that sweater on. I completely understand. That's fucking understandable. Part my line. Oh, did I just say that? Sorry. Um. So that was completely understandable, but. You don't overreact. Why would you overreact? You don't overreact. You don't let people see your fears or your weaknesses. You don't let people see that. You know what I mean? You can laugh about it. If there's something bad, you just laugh it off. It's okay. And what I do is I laugh it off. Because for me, it's just easier to laugh it off rather than just to take the whole thing on, you know, straight on because me laughing it off is like me taking it straight on, you know, it's me dealing with the situation. Um, apparently not everybody will take a laugh kindly because not everybody, uh, has that, that set of mind, you know, uh, my job is to make people happy. Uh, my job is to make people laugh. My job is to, you know, help out people. Um, and everybody's job is the same thing. When you're working, it doesn't matter what job you're in. Customer service is great, but don't don't forget is that if you're performing a service for somebody else, right, and that somebody else is watching how you treat your worker or workers, you know, and they see that, you know, if the workers are happy, it's going to be a happy workplace. That means everything's going to be okay, hopefully. And if the workers are not happy, well, then you have some grumpy old guy doing, oh, I don't know what, you know? So grumpy is grumpy do, you know? Um, but the, pro the, the, the problem is that it, it, if, you, if you don't take care of your workers, you know, and, and, you know, then they won't take care of you. And, you know, at this point, it doesn't make a difference of how much you're paying me. You could pay me $5 an hour or you could pay me $500 an hour. The point is, hey, verbal abuse is verbal abuse, and it shouldn't be taken kind uh, lightly, okay? Your verbal abuse is like compared 
what 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 you say to me in verbally, as in like you know you clench your teeth and you go like this, you know, and you and you act mad you're like ah. It's the same thing as if you were to treat me badly or underpay me or, you know, whatever the situation would be. But that's kind of disrespect. And I don't care if you're paying me. That doesn't give you the right to curse me out or to push me or anything. You know what I mean? I don't care how much you're paying me. That doesn't give you the right to do any of that. Because then it becomes verbal abuse, then it becomes physical abuse, then it becomes worse or abuse, and it's just like, it's not even worth it. Like, it's completely not even worth it, you know? But why do it? You know? So I'm just going to shoot out this video to to this guy, you know, and I'm going to send him the link to it. And I hope that he watches it, you know what I mean? And if he does, he doesn't. If he does, he does, you know? Uh, but it's a point that I'm trying to make because, you know, all right, I got into your van. You know, I got into the van with the dirty sweater. I could have just pulled, taken it off. But he, instead of saying, take the sweater off, can you please take the sweater off and, get and, and you know, take this and, and, and not do that in the, in the van, he automatically just goes mad and he tries to pull me out of the car. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, what's the matter? Let like, you know, I'm doing something. I'm, I'm, I'm driving a van, and here you are opening the van door. And now you're being reckless about it, and then you're you're opening your mouth. You know, being you know reckless completely about it. You know, I mean, it's it's crazy. Why would you Why would you take that risk, especially when a customer is watching? You know what I mean? And then you come back and you act so nice to the customer. You know, when you're acting like a, like a complete a-hole to, to, to your worker, what do you think is going to happen? You know, I, I, and I told him, I told him before, verbal abuse is verbal abuse. You know, I, I, I don't appreciate it. You know, it's, it's not nice. Um, it's not polite. And, you know, where I work, you know, if I work in EMS and somebody says something to me verbally, I'm going to let you know. And this person is just does just doesn't understand what verbal abuse really means, you know. <clears throat> and you know, I guess I guess one day he'll have to find out. It won't be from me, you know. But somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna say something. Somebody's gonna do something, you know. Somebody will say something, do something about it, you know. But it won't. It, I mean, leave leave me out of it, you know. Um, he he said you don't want to see me no more. You know, he said, if, 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 I, if I don't leave, he, he, and I told I, I wait, before you, I told him, look, if I get out of the van right now, I'm leaving. I'm not here. I have my own business to run. I don't have time for your BS. You know what I mean? I have my own things to run. I have my own things to do. You know, we had a, a great day yesterday, you know, uh, to, we, we went riding and stuff. I, I, I appreciate that. That's great. You know, we had some burgers at the end. It was great. You know, but that doesn't just because you're paying me doesn't give you the right to treat me that way. It, it's just, it's just wrong. It's inconsiderate. It's inhumane, I think, to to do that. You know what I mean? And I, I don't care what job site you go to. You know, you, you, you I, I don't I don't think it's a respectable thing to do, especially for the boss. I mean, if I take somebody with me. I'll tell him quiet, like, yo, like, you gotta do this, you know? And, and, and you know, and I really don't care what I, you know, for me, it's just, it's what I feel like. If I feel that I'm comfortable in this ugly, plain looking blue shirt and these stained, you know, pa you know, pants, then I'm fine with it, you know? I'm completely fine with it, you know? Um, so I, 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 I don't I don't understand it's just people they judge when they look and I always say, you know, don't judge a book by its cover and you may see one thing and it may be a completely different thing and you just you just never know it and this is the problem. You know what I mean? So there's a fly in my window and I don't want him back inside. Um 
so that's the story all right guys so thank you for watching i really appreciate you watching i guess like and subscribe i'll find a few more friends um good friends are few and hard to find um these days and it's just it's horrible um especially when you know he's a really good friend of mine but you know he just really overreacts sometimes and you know i understand I completely understand. I probably would, you know, I probably would too, but, you know, not in that manner, you know, because I, I, I don't think it's, uh, it's respectable, you know, to, uh, to the other person, you know? I mean, if you don't care about what other people think, then, you know, that's you, you know? But, um, I care. I, I, I care that people are going to be, you know, honest and respectful and, you know, courteous to, to everybody, you know, I, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's just, it's just a, a real thing that should be done, you know, um, you shouldn't take it too far, of course, but it is what it is, all right, so once again, guys, thank you for watching, take care.